Hello, and thank you for supporting Mason's Creations and maybe the gallery that you bought this damselfly or dragonfly from. Today I'm going to show you how to put it together. You should have a copper body, four wings, and this little packet of mounting gear, which includes the copper wall mount bracket, two screws, and the fishing swivel in case you want to hang it. And your rod and rock stand. So here we go. We're gonna start with one of the bottom wings and the later models have this little groove in the bottom of the bottom wing. So we're gonna first put it in at an angle to the bottom copper prongs here. It's gonna go in kind of like this. And it's gonna fit into the top prongs and they should snap right in there. Once it's all the way in, this one should line up with the groove and then you put the wire into the groove like this and clip it over. Then you clip this one, this one's a little bit thicker so you might have to use a pair of pliers at the end but that's okay. And then rinse repeat for side B. Bring it in at kind of an angle into the copper prongs like this, snap in, and these clip over. Once you get it all in there, this will line up with the groove nicely. And then this one. And then the top wings are actually a little bit easier. They slide in like a sword into the hilt. But same idea. And then on these, the groove is on the top where the wire clips over. Keep it from slipping out. Slides right in, clips over, clips over. Other side, same thing, look for the top groove. Slide it in. And your dragonfly or damselfly is all assembled. Whether it's a damselfly or a dragonfly, that's the same exact same design just the wing patterns are different now if you bought one of these mini damselflies or bought one of the earlier versions of the larger damselflies or dragonflies that don't have the little grooves in the wings this is what you do again you start with the bottom wings And this time we're going to do it something a little bit different. You put it in there as usual. And you turn it over. And what you do is you push up on this one where my left thumb is and you pull down this one. That way it just grabs in there nicely. And then rinse repeat for other side on the bottom. And these new, newer versions always also have this little extra piece of glass right here with a little space for the wire to catch. So it's virtually the same as the grooves, larger versions. But again, you still have to do this little trick on the bottom. You push down, you push and pull at the same time. So as to get it to kind of snap in there on its own. And then on the top one, instead of doing that, you just squeeze it in a little bit. So it's just a little bit too far. So it'll snap back and catch like that. Top ones are easier. If these little bumpies get in the way, just finagle around as you can. These little dichroic glass accents. There it goes. Snap. All together. And this one also comes with a option for this fishing swivel to twirl around. It comes in a little package. And you can wall mount these. They have a little peg in the bottom that fits into the 
Walmart and exactly like the large ones. And the only thing they don't have, they don't have the standing feature, but they'll hang from the window also. You put a loop of wire from here to over to here. It'll hang right flush in the window, and there you have it. And both kind of bugs are very durable, too. They've been through brutal Vermont winters, left outside all winter long, and the cold doesn't bother them at all. Just hang them somewhere where a windstorm won't blow them into a tree, and they'll be just fine. But if, if you do have an accident and one of them what does break, just tell me which wing it was. Replacement wings are available from the gallery or from, directly from masonscreations.com and they're approximately one twelfth for the retail price. And tell me which one it was, whether it was a top left, bottom left, top right, bottom right. And then if you have one with iridized glass, like as in this one right here, send me a picture anyways, just so I can get the patterns to match properly. And you'll notice on the bottom right of any dragonfly or damselfly, if you turn it over on the underside you'll find this artist signature and maybe the date and then there'll be a color code and it'll be a batch number in this case it's GRN means green green dragonfly and that is batch number four I keep a record of all the ones I've produced so all you gotta do is let me know that information but send a photograph too so we can get a nice exact match or close enough to it and on the damselfly, it's slightly different. You have the signature, but it's always, again, on the bottom. It's on the underside of the bottom right wing. Turn it over. There's my signature. And that's batch number one. Color code three. There's eight different colors of damselflies. This one happens to be a cranberry red and light green. One of my personal favorite combinations. There's about four different ways, at least, to display your bug. You can hang it freely from this little fishing swivel right here, and it'll twirl around with the breeze. Just undo it like this, and then it fits in the top stabilizer loop, like so. And make sure you clip it back in. And if you want to use the free hanging method, put the little fishing swivel onto the stabilizer hanger like this. And hang it from a tree, or in this case, it's hanging from a rod that's stuck in the ground. The rod is quarter inch diameter and six feet long. That's great for the mini damselflies, but for the large damselflies or the dragonflies, you'll need a half inch diameter one, six feet long. That's one way to do it. And then the other way, if you want it to hang right flush to the window, is you would attach a thin wire from here, make a loop, and round to the top, to the top wing right here where this prong is, and it'll hang right flush to the window. Then the most popular one of all is the wall display method. And underneath, on some of the later models, you have a clip right here. And this clip, you put this into the you put this into the wall first. You screw it into the wall. And then the clip goes right into here like this. This would be your side facing the wall, so it would go like this. And that's, you can take it off really quickly for easy cleaning or moving, whatever you want to do with it. After you've screwed in the brace to the wall, you just put the peg right in the top hole. And there it goes, it's all set. And you can also adjust the legs or the tail if you need to make it more flush to the wall. Just bend them as needed until it's nicely balanced. And the tail, you can bend it sort of upwards like this. That way it'll really be snug to the wall. So that's the wall mount method.
And then it also has a little couple underneath. It goes on a quarter inch rod, which is provided with your purchase. It comes with a two, two foot long steel rod and a rock. So you can put it in your garden if you want to. Very versatile product.